In this tutorial, we will simulate a D flip flop in Logisim. So we're gonna go to the memory folder in the Explorer pane and choose D flip flop, drop it here in the canvas area. And then we need a clock, which we can find under the wiring. There's the clock. Now, you notice here at uh, the component, a small green circle. This is the point of connection. This is where you take a wire from and then you connect it to the other point of connection. The flip-flop of course has an input and output. So for the input we get it from um, the toolbar the top toolbar and then connect the input to the G. For the output it's uh, this green circle This is an, an output pin. Now you notice when you drop a component in the canvas area, the attribute table of it is activated here to the left. And then you have some properties which you can change as you need. So for example, this is, is this an output? Yes, it's an output. Data bits, how many bits is this output? It's one. So how about if you want to make it two, now you will have two outputs, two bits for this output. We're going to change it to one. And then take a wire. and connect it to the queue. Okay. You notice also at the bottom here of the flip flop, you have a zero, which is for reset. So you can connect uh, this zero to an input pin. And then anytime you want to reset the flip flop, you're going to make sure that this has a zero inside it. Now we want to make a connection from this input pin to the zero. So we're going to rotate this shape. Now it's facing east. We're going to make it facing north. And in this case, we can take a wire from here. Is zero. Okay. Uh, the second one here, this is the enable. You can also do the same. Take an input pin. And then take a connection. To the enable. Okay, now we want to simulate the G flip flop. And also, while we are simulating, we want to have the input and output being logged in a log file. So we're going to go to Simulate menu. 
and then choose login. And here in the login, you choose what exactly you want to be watching. So we're going to watch the output. And one of the inputs. So it would have been better if we labeled this input so we know for sure which input are we talking about since we have three. Is it the um, is it the input or is it the reset or is it the enable? Okay, so let's do this input, edit here, and then you go to the table. In the table here, after the simulation starts, you will see the input and output values coming up. Now we want to log um, the output to an output file. So we go to the file menu and then here from the select, you select where your out, you want out your output file to be. So quality output. Okay, save. Now once you save it, it is enabled already. Okay. So now we want to start the simulation. So we go to simulate and then choose ticks enable and ticks enable will enable the clock. Close this window for now. And you see here, we have a clock going to the flip flop. Now we want to alter uh, these values. So we have to choose the poke tool from the toolbar and then by clicking here now we have a one going to the G flip flop. Now we cannot alter the output so if we have a one going in we should expect a one at the output since it's a G flip flop but as you see we don't have an, um, a one here and this is because the reset is zero so you want to keep it zero and you notice that the G flip flop is not enabled so you want to make sure it is enabled and now we can see this path the one coming from the input going to the output. If you want to change the output to zero, now you get a zero at the output. Now, if you go back to the simulate and go to the login, go to the table, now you see the output versus input. So let's change the input again to 1. It will show up in the, uh, in the login. Uh, also here in the simulate, you have the tick frequency. So it is set at 4 hertz, but you can set it to any of these other values. And your logging, your output um, file can be opened in a notepad, or you can open it in Excel 
if you um, add the .xls extension to the file. And that's it. Thank you for watching.